Hi, good day. Justin May Pineda from BSN1 Abdella performing the oxygen therapy. Providing supplemental oxygenation is by supplying an oxygen by artificial means. It is to deliver low to moderate levels of oxygen to relieve hypoxia. The objectives of the oxygen therapy is to return arterial partial oxygen to normal range. To correct hypoxic condition so that the patient is adequately oxygenated. To assist respiration to return to normal rate and to increase comfort and breathing efficiency for patients with chronic lung disease. The assessment of the oxygen therapy is first to check if the patient has a patent airway, assess the patient's vital signs, observe the patient for signs of hypoxia, assess skin under oxygen mask for irritation, and assess for signs of carbon dioxide narcosis. The equipment we will be using is the oxygen administration set with tank with gauge, oxygen flow meter, nasal cannula or oxygen mask, and humidifier. So now, I will go in to perform to you the oxygen therapy. First, inspect the clients for signs and symptoms associated with hypoxia and presence of airway secretion. Left untreated hypoxia can produce cardiac dysrhythmias and death. Presence of airway secretion decreases effectiveness of oxygen delivery. Explain to client and family what procedure entails and purpose of oxygen therapy. It decreases the client's anxiety, which reduces the oxygen consumption and increases with the client's cooperation. Wash hands. It reduces the transmission of infection. Attach the nasal cannula to oxygen tubing and attach the two humidified oxygen source adjusted to prescribed flow rate. This prevents from dry drying of nasal and oral mucous membranes and airway secretion. Place tip of cannula into client's snare and adjust the elastic headband or plastic slide until cannula fits the snugly and comfortably. Direct flow of oxygen into client's upper respiratory tract. Client is more likely to keep cannula in place if it is fits comfortably. Maintain sufficient slack of oxygen tubing and secure to client's clothes. This allows the patient to return or turn head without dislodging cannula and reduces the pressure of the tips of snare. Check cannula every 8 hours and keep humidification jar filled at all times. This ensures the patency of cannula and the oxygen flow. It prevents the inhalation of humidified oxygen. Observe client's snare and superior surface of both ears or for screen breakdown. Oxygen therapy can cause drying of nasal mucosa and pressure on ears from cannula tubing or elastic can cause skin irritation. Check oxygen flow and physician's order every 8 hours. It ensures the delivery of the prescribed oxygen flow rate and the patency of cannula. Wash hands. This reduces the transmission of microorganisms. And last, inspect the client for relief 
of symptoms associated with hypoxia. It indicates the hypoxia is corrected or reduced. To evaluate the oxygen therapy, evaluate it using the following desired outcomes as criteria. First, the breathing pattern regular at and at normal rate. The pink color in nail beds, lips, conjunctiva of eyes, no disorientation, confusion, difficulty and cognition, patient resting comfortably. Laboratory measurement of arterial oxygen concentration or hemoglobin oxygen saturation within normal limits. <laughs>